A number of model makers have made models of trucks with hook lift containers. These are detachable containers which, as the name suggests, can be hooked on to the truck. The model you can see here is made by WSI. As another example, here's a model made by Conrad. An advantage is that the containers are interchangeable. And in this review, we're looking at a number of containers made by Mountain Scale Manufacturing. MSM is the logo and these are 1 to 50 scale. It comes in a simple windowed box and a label in German on the back tells you which container it is. In this review, we're looking at more than one container. Onto the weighbridge and a box chosen at random weighs just over 3 ounces and that's 90 gramlets. Let's open up one of the boxes and see what's inside. And this one is a water tank on a hook lift frame. It is mounted on an inner cardboard piece and in fact it's clipped into place. After separating it there's no assembly to do because it's complete out of the box. As you might have noticed, these are 3D plastic printed parts and a couple had defective hooks which have to be refitted and glued. Again, taking one part at random, it weighs in at just over 2 ounces, which is only 65 gramlets. So let's go through the containers and the model number is shown in the bottom right. And you can see this water tank has lifting eyes along the top. The texture of the tank is fairly typical for a printed part. And you can see there's a separate frame which is fixed on the bottom. In fact this particular piece is made up of a number of different components that are all fitted together. Let's now take this piece and mount it on one of the hook lift trucks. And this is the Conrad truck. The fit is okay but not quite perfect, probably because of paint thicknesses on the Conrad model. Next we go on to what is described as a thermo silo, and this is used for the transport of hot materials. It's got nice looking textured aluminium sides, but like all these models it's all in plastic. The ladder at one end also adds detail. A nice aspect of this container is that it does have moving parts. And you can open up the roof to get material loaded in. This container could carry asphalt, so you can use it in a mini diorama. The next item is a flatbed. The basic structure underneath is common to all of these. And you can see it's also got upstand posts, and there's the hook at the front. Again, this one has got moving parts because it's got two ramps which can be lowered. And also, each of the upstand posts can be removed if you want. Let's fit this onto the WSI model, and the fit on this is very good. And the only advice to give is to be careful when doing it. Because, for example, you don't want to snap the hook off at the front. This particular design can be used for carrying small items of plant which can be loaded via the ramps. Another similar one is this variation. It doesn't have ramps at the back, instead it has upstand posts all around, and again they're all removable. Again this is an easy fit onto WSI's hook lift truck model, and if you clip it correctly it stays in place. For this one we'll use as a load a tower crane mast section. Next up is a smaller capacity dump body and it's got nice ribbed sides. That also includes the tailgate at the rear. There's also some simple detailing at the front. This one has a moving part and that is the opening tailgate. We'll fit this one to the Conrad truck and see how it looks. We'll start by carefully hooking it over and then trying to clip it in, but again the fit's not quite perfect because of the Conrad truck. It still looks okay, but if you wanted a perfect appearance you probably need to do some work on the truck. 
This particular container also looks good when it's in a tipped pose. Next is a variation of the dump body, and this one has replica aluminium sides. The aluminium looking tailgate is also modelled, and this one has a different mechanism because it's got a lower flap and then the opening tailgate. Again, the fit of the moving parts is very good. one is a 30 meter cubed body so it's quite a bit larger and it has nice ribbed sides and also tailgate this one has got the added detailing of a ladder at the front and it also features moving parts because you've got swinging doors and also the whole lid is hinged although it doesn't fully open flat with the sides so this one is quite big and impressive and here it is being loaded onto the Conrad truck. Even bigger is this 40 meter cubed body. And again it poses well being pulled onto the truck. The last one to look at is this smaller dump body. And it has opening doors at the rear. One option you have with these is to use a plastic primer and paint the colours you want. These models from MSM are one way to get a variety of hook lift type containers. The many different versions give you plenty of display options and some have moving parts which work very well. They are plastic printed parts so they don't have the finest detail and of course they don't have the heavy weight of die cast. They're not inexpensive models but they give different options and overall they're rated as good.